Hello, welcome to Home Designs by Amanda. Today we're going to do a card that I do not have a sample for, so we're going to um, process through it together. Um, this card, I have a base here that I already um, started on. It's just a basic black um, I embossed base. It is the bottom little... part with um, one of our new embossing folders um, that's in the Occasions Catalog for Stampin' Up! And I just did the bottom part right there. Um, and so we're going to take this card base and make um, a card with it. But I'm going to use some, some stamps and dies that are not in the Occasions Catalog. This one is the stamp I'm going to use and the die set that goes with it is the Coffee Cafe um, Suite from the Annual Catalog. So we're going to use that and make um, a coffee cup for on here and we're going to stamp that and then we'll use I may use some from a hug in a mug or from the Mary Cafe these are both retired though they they were um, done with the with the holiday catalog at the end of 2017 I'm use a piece of purple but cardstock um, this is not Stampin' Up! cardstock I don't have we have limited numbers of like lilac-y type purple colors. I think the, we have like one and I might even pull out that to see if that'll be close enough ink color that we want to use. If not, I might be using Sweet Sugar Plum or Rich Razzleberry to go with this just to keep it in a, or even Fresh Fig. That might be a nice, but I wanted a lilac-y light kind of background color and I didn't have any other cardstock from Stampin' Up! So I just pulled out of my stash that I got for Christmas a piece of, it's got a linen look if you look at it closely, textured um, cardstock. So I'm going to cut that down so that I can cut out my little coffee cup, um, cut it out with my coffee cup framelit. So when I have a full sheet of of 12 by 12 paper, I typically, and I'm starting to cut it down, but I don't need like the whole sheet or a certain length of it, like with this one I just want it this this size I cut the sheet in half so it's now 12 by 6 and then I have another 12 by 6 piece and that makes it a very usable size for other projects and then this 6 inches will fit through the Big Shot machine um, I could go ahead and cut this down a little more if I wanted to um, and I may do that or I could just go ahead and so send it So what through. I want to do I is I want to go ahead and stamp this. Maybe if I do it the other way around. Okay, I want to go ahead and stamp this. And Okay, that's what I wanted. So this was why I had the Mary Cafe out. Um, I like the detail that they have on this stamp compared to the detail on the Coffee Cafe. But if all you have is the coffee cafe, or all you can get now is the coffee cafe, this is still a nice coffee cup. But I like this one, so I'm going to use that one since I have it. Um, that is a well used stamp set I have there. And if you saw any of my other videos, you'll know that's probably, that was one of my favorites. And I'm going to just go with basic black. Match, I want to match the cardstock. Um, my colors came from um, the gift that this card is going with. So I coordinated that together. <laughs> or am coordinating it together, I guess you'd say. So I'm just leaving just enough room so I can get my frame lid on around there. So there's that. And then I'm going to just remember this before I go and touch it or anything. <laughs> um, the basic black does tend to smudge a little bit compared to to like the other dye based inks so I um, want to let that sit for a few minutes I don't feel like getting out my heat tool to to dry it up quicker so I'm going to leave that there and I can work on um, the just move that out of the way and we can work on the the whipped cream which is really good on coffee just saying Actually, while I'm waiting, I should go ahead and do this black as well, which is the happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. We'll go ahead and put that on there. 
as well, and then they can all um, they can all dry together. So now I'm gonna work on the whip topping. I want to pull it up. I don't really want to go. Usually I would tend to lean towards like um, the soft sky, kind of give it just a light color. But since this is a black and purple card and white card, I'm gonna use soft or smoky slate and keep it in like that kind of gray and stuff coloring. I guess I could have got out the purple. What color was I looking at? The fresh fig. But I like the gray. And I'm going to go over it with Wing Stella anyway. Make it look all shiny. But we have this, and I have my magnetic plate. So my thing is warped a little because it has been used. Let's see if this still works. Oh, it does. Look at that. Even though I have a warped plate. That's awesome. So I'm going to die cut out this little coffee cup here to put in there. I left room to die, to fussy cut around this coffee cup for later, a later project. And I left room around, I had to cut into that one to, to have enough space. But I left enough room to be able to fussy cut around this one and this and that if I want to for a later project. Because those don't have dies. Uh, so all of that just to say that. So again, this should work really well having the magnetic plate. Okay, I'm going to still go ahead and flip it over, and then maybe, oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. Okay, and then my regular plate for on top should be right there. So I want to have my cup here and this here. I'm pretty sure I want to put my strip sentiment there with this coffee kind of sticking out from behind it. Maybe even a little further, like kind of like that. But now it just see, feels like it needs some sort of embellishing. I did think about thing. using this on here, kind of snowflakey looking. It is winter. <laughs> Um, and then I could actually put this coffee cup down here and do the happy birthday there. I think what I want, I think what I'm wanting is something a little more like, like this. I don't have any straight, I have this white and silver, which would work, but it's a little too thick. It's baker's twine. That would work. But I have this embroidery floss and I think that's more of what I'm wanting because I could even go thin with it and use just one or two strands which I might do or I might just kind of keep it like apart like that to come out from behind the coffee on this side. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a small amount of this so I'm going to I think that's about the amount I want and to kind of have it off to the side coming out from behind the coffee cup. So I'm going to make a knot here and to keep it all together behind the coffee cup with a glue dot. Actually, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll lift this so that'll keep it a little bit behind it too. So I have some Stampin' Dimensionals here. I need another, I need another sheet out. Okay, so I'm going to talk through a little bit of what I'm going to do for like the inside so that I don't necessarily have to show it all. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut another piece of the, the purple to about the size of the inside. I might leave a small border or I might even put in like a fancy like silvery border behind it and then it, I'll show it to you when I'm finished but I'm probably not going to video all of it. Um, I'm going to get a glue dot here. <laughs> Alright, I'm just distracted. Sorry. Here we go. And I'm going, what I'm going to do is just a piece of the purple to write on so that you can see what's being written. Um, 
to the person because obviously black you're not you can't see that you have to have you have to have a lighter color in order to see it there okay so there's that let's okay so our our coffee cup is ready there we'll put our we're gonna put dimensionals on our um what is this the whipped cream ha I'm gonna cut this dimensional in half. I could use minis, but I don't feel like getting them out. <laughs> so I'm gonna just cut that one in half. That keeps them the same size too. I think the minis that you buy are the same height, but I've noticed that the paper pumpkin ones and the the ones you buy out of the catalog aren't quite the same height. It's okay, but I just I, I've noticed that. That we can start putting the front together a little bit here so i'm going to just use some snail because i'm feeling lazy and it's quick I think I might put a little, I have rhinestone somewhere. So there we have our happy birthday card with a coffee flare and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll know when I put out new ones. Um, if you need any of the the, um, the the supplies I used for this project, you can head over to my um, blog. It'll list them there. Um, and it'll have a link to my um, Stampin' Up! store where you can buy most of the products I use. I didn't use all Stampin' Up! products, but mostly. And um, you can get your your products there and make this card yourself. So thank you for coming to create with me today. I hope you enjoy this project and you come back again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.